Hey everyone, well, welcome back to my channel. And if you saw in that thumbnail, I went to Burger somewhere I haven't been in years. Yes, somewhere I have not been in years. I was kind of hoping my earrings were still in place. Oh, thank gosh, they are. Um, I had to go and put in the order for my glasses today. So in one week, you'll be seeing me with, <laughs> I'm going to be funny, with my glasses. Anyway, um, they will not be the same as my reading glasses. Just an FYI on that. Weirdly enough, I didn't think I was getting bifocals. Yes, bifocals. Whoa. Anyway, this is not about my reading glasses, but, well, sort of. Okay, I was telling my friend, you know, we all see the advertisement for the Burger King taco. I was like, you know what, I'm kind of curious about those. And, you know, he had to drive me up to uh, the place where I was putting in for my prescription for my glasses. And I will not have that granny line for my uh so that will be the invisible line. Um, and I don't know, I kind of have this little niche about I can wear just about any frame <laughs> available. Just about. So it was kind of a hard choice between frames. It really was. There was just a bunch of like nice frames in there. I had a choice between the Davis frames, the Nine West, the Nike, um, oh my gosh, um, that were all covered by my insurance. And it just happened to be they were on discount for me today. Yeah, sure. Discounts. I get discounts. Okay, people, I get discounts for some apparent reason. I don't know what it is. I get discounts. But anyway, that's not what this is about. I was telling my friend I really, like, wanted to check this out. So he was like, okay, well, there's a, a BK on the way back. And I'm like, all right, well, hey, look, I didn't really notice this. I'm kind of wearing BK colors and didn't really pay attention to that. <laughs> okay, so anyway, <sighs> hope the lighting's okay. You know how it goes. Sometimes the lighting is, sometimes the lighting isn't. So just light up your light here. So it, it is kind of funny that on the back of it, you have the little smiley face. So I just ordered it as is. Um, and I will tell you it is rather thin. So it is thin. I don't know if anybody else has seen any videos about this BK taco. It smells alright. Smells a bit Taco Bell. Although I do know BK and Taco Bell, like way back in the day, used to be a thing. Um, the shell is a little mushy right about here in the middle. Maybe that's because of the meat. Gosh knows how long these have been sitting. Let's take a bite. There's some lettuce in here. That you yeah, before we take a bite, what's in the middle? What's in the middle? What's talking to us? Uh, only a little bit of cheese. Some, I don't know, that's starting to look like mystery cafeteria maker. And a lot of lettuce, of course. So let us try this and hope it doesn't taste gross. I 
Okay, so, so far, I can say this definitely tastes like Taco Bell, which I don't eat anymore. Um, it's not bad. If BK wants to be in the game of making tacos, Well, it's supposed to be a crispy taco. The only thing I find crispy about it is just the edge of the shell. If it's supposed to be a crispy taco, make the whole entire taco crispy. Or this part of it, obviously you can hear the crunch because there isn't any. This tastes more like a refried bean than meat. Trust me, I've cooked with plenty of refried beans to know the difference between refried beans and meat. And does that look like meat to you? That looks like refried beans to me. So, all in all, I would probably say if you're vegetarian or vegan, I would ask them if it's actually refried beans that's in this, and then this would probably be more the vegan or vegetarian one. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. That's why I'm still eating it. Um, would I buy this again? No. No, I would not buy this again. Um, do I live close to a BK? No. Um, 30 minutes away is not worth it to me. But, um, it needs improving. It's just refried beans, a little tossle of cheese, and, um, a little flavoring. I could say it tastes like, you know, like that taco packet of seasoning, the McCormick seasoning. That's what it tastes like. Um, some lettuce, that's it. They didn't even attempt salsa verde on here, even though Look, even though on here, that's what's supposed to be on here, that, that's not what's in here. Thank you. That's not what's in here. Oh. Uh, Definitely would not buy this again. Um, but I mean, it was okay. I just figured I haven't done one of these videos in a while, and it's Friday. Um, Gosh, it's already after three. Let me double check that. Really? My gosh, it's almost four o'clock. By the time this video goes up, it'll be after four. Um, the other thing I got, 
actually ordered a Whopper meal. That's why you just saw me take a drink out of a cup. And I just wanted to see if their Whopper was still up to their old standards. It's not even the same size. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? The Whopper used to be bigger than that. Do you remember? The Whopper used to be that big. And that's a shame. It isn't even hot. That's not even hot. That's a shame. Let's see if it even tastes the same. I don't even know if I'm going to take a bite of that truthfully. It smells like, excuse me, it smells like somebody's armpit. I've had better. A Whopper used to be bigger than this. And quite frankly, they used to be a lot thicker. I don't know if you guys remember that. I mean, yeah, they did put everything on here, but I remember them being a lot bigger than this. And you guys know I don't normally do take out or wheat product at that point. Um, that's a shame. It's, it's tiny. Um, like, I let my friend order their cheeseburgers and they were about that big. Are you serious? That was like smaller than McDonald's. Are you serious? What happened? Did the cow shriek? I know beef is expensive, but come on. Where's your standards at, Burger King? What happened? What happened to you? I, I put you on higher standards and now I don't. Anyway. Um, the only thing that I could say was good out of all this is the, it's getting the set of my teeth. <sighs> Truthfully, um, oh, and I'll get back to answering people that left a, a message or, you know, a comment in yesterday's video. I will get back to answering you like velvet. You're funny. Just leaving your measurements on Instagram and I'll make those for you. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're funny. <laughs> and thank you, Beth. Oh, I don't know what L came in it, but from um, the other person, but okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, here I just try to make things delightful for people, whimsical, and you know, hey, if it's what makes your day, it's what makes your day in some sort of way. <laughs> um, so, you know, I just haven't done a Friday. Um, Fast Food Friday is something that Robbie used to do when he used to be on YouTube. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, BK, 
I don't I hold either one of these to too high of standards. That can be better. But in all of things, um, my classes are coming in in a week. And I cannot wait for that. My classes. Oh my god. And then. They were trying to help me pick them out, and then I found this one frame. And I'm like, Ooh. It's like a cross between the Superman frame and the Wonder Woman frame. You know, when they're in disguise. Yeah. If you remember, like, the first season of Wonder Woman, when she was trying to be in disguise and had her glasses... And uh, the Clark Kent glasses when Christopher Reeve was uh, Superman and he had his style of glasses. It's like a cross between those glasses. That's going to be a surprise. Oh. Um, yeah. And when I put those on, the people in the place were like, oh. and I was like, wait. And I even tried on the cat eye frames, and those look good on me too. So it was like a really hard choice. So, yeah. Later on, if I really want to chill, I can go in and get another frame. Mm hmm. Out of my own pocket, but I can go in and get another frame. my own style, which I will, um, and just have different pairs of glasses, so, like, basically, like, I can pick a Nine West, I can pick, oh, what was that other pair, yeah, they had another pair in there, but, like, the Nine West, I wasn't too, like, and, and I think it's more like a sunglass style, like, I wasn't too, hmm, that um, there was a nice pair of Nike um, in there. I was cool with that. Had a nice pair of Ray Ban in there. Yeah. Um, I have to save up for that. But yeah. Oh, nice one. Plus, they were telling me I can get the discount. That's gonna be great. Be great. Yeah, because, because I have insurance on my glasses. So, in case they break, they're insured. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah. That's food a lot. Oh, that's going to make my weekend even better knowing that I have that to look forward to. And I will show them to you so you know what. I want everybody out there. Well, you know what? I also need to finish that suit. Which is going to be great because I have some other ideas for something. So, you know what? Look forward to that. And um, I'm not going to push my limit. I don't need any more seizures. Um, my, uh, my neurologist told me she has to see me this month because of the seizure that injured my abdominal muscles. And that's something went wrong. Um, so I'm not allowed to stress myself, so I really have to be careful not to push my limits too much. I have to give myself some time with a few things, so, um, that's why you got to see yesterday's video, so it's all cool, it's all cool, we're done with this. 
Um, so, you know what? I wonder if we can do better to stay healthy. Stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And you know what? Because there's plenty of time to do stuff in life. And there's no reason to rush. Because... Even though life goes by fast, we need to take time for the more simple things. Right. Right. And I will see you guys later and go warm up this armpit uh, of, a, of a whopper or a wannabe whopper. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you later. And don't eat any weird food. <laughs>